What's going on people? Welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. Welcome back to another match day vlog. We are back. It's been like three, four weeks since the last time we were at a Chelsea game. And to be honest, after the way that we were playing, we needed the break. But let's hope we can hit the ground running the second time around this season because we didn't do that at all the first time. It's been a very poor start to the season. You guys already know what's been going down. Thomas Tuchel's been sacked. It's been all change in terms of the backroom staff. And yeah, it's been a roller coaster this season already. But it's Crystal Palace away, a team that has been a bit iffy this season. They've made a lot of chances. They've been very hard to beat, but they struggle to hold on to leads as well. And they're very inconsistent in the idea that one day they can be unbeatable, the next day they can, you can just walk straight through them. So it depends on what Palace team turns up. Depends what Chelsea team turns up as well. But first thing is we need to turn up. As you guys can see, I'm sweating off my head, but it's been because of all these train delays. I've literally had to take a bike to Clapham Junction and we're trying to catch one of the only trains down to Crystal Palace. So let's see how it goes. Let's hope we get to the ground with no issues and let's hope we get the three points without any issues as well. Let's head down to the ground. I need to catch my breath as well. So like, subscribe, and we'll see you at Selhurst Park. Up the shells. <laughs> Right, so we're playing a back four. I think it's a 4 3 3 again. And even though I like the midfield, I think it's a very strong midfield three. And the back four, even though it kind of stifles our creativity, it is a solid back four. I'm just wondering how many chances we're going to make. But I do think that's what Potter's come here to try and help us improve on. So we'll see how far we've gone in terms of that front. I don't know what to make of this game though, because Palace are usually very hard to beat and whenever we play in the back four, we don't really make as much chances. So it all depends on how we play in the first 20 minutes, I guess. But we'll see what happens. We're on our way to the ground and let's hope for the three points. Up the Chelsea. her immense contribution to the nation and around the world during her remarkable service. Please now join us to observe a minute's silence in memory of Her Majesty the Queen and this will be followed by the national anthem, God Save the King. One 
attack. Literally to one attack. Long. Let's turn it around. I said the first 20 minutes were vital. There we go. Can't be arse. Possession for possession's sake again. Barely any incisive passing. Well, we've given them the early goal. They've got every right to sit back. Tao can break them down now. Always make it so hard for us. I swear that. Ball mount! Oh, wrong side of the netting. Barely making everything. At least Brighton are tuning up against Liverpool. Oh. It doesn't mean anything for us right now, we can't even win. Zero movement in possession from the attackers. Oh, this is why we just hold possession for no reason. No one makes off the ball runs. No one offers themselves up in a good position and we're passing the ball around sideways and backwards for no fucking reason. It's the same shit every game. Ah, oh, Sterling! Sterling still! Off the post! Oh, so unlucky, man. Look how easy that we make them play out the back. This is so fucking arse from us. Good job, Kepa. Good job. That's a foul. Kova is struggling. So many turnovers from him. It's only been like 25 minutes. He booked Silver for diving and he got taken down. This game isn't going our way, man. It really isn't. VAR's checking a red card. I can't be arsed, man. I can't be arsed. I can't be fucking arsed, man. Oh, wait, they haven't. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, Thank the Lord. Time 1-1, one, one. only an Aubameyang goal saves us, but that's what we signed him for. And we're waiting for him to turn up, so thank God he turned up at that point. But it's been a rough half. We made it as hard for ourselves as possible. They scored on their first attack, and it's been the same old Chelsea. Possession for the sake of possession, but at least we pulled the goal back. It's basically nil-nil again. I don't know where the second goal's coming from. I don't care. We just need to get that second goal and get through this game, because... We are making it such hard work right now. But we'll see, we'll see. It's up to Paul to make the changes. His game management wasn't great in the last game, but he's had enough time to squad now. So 
We'll see what changes in the second half. But yeah, let's see what happens. Up the shelves. Instantly giving Zaha space. Go! God, there was no one in the middle. Fire. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> 